Here are the steps for installing heat welded cap sheet membranes on a field surface. First, remove the tape around the roll of cap sheet membrane. Starting from the drain, unroll the cap sheet membrane following the lines located on top of the base sheet membrane already installed. Cut an opening in the membrane around the perimeter of the drain and adjust as needed once the membrane is in place. Install a piece of membrane with the granules facing the ground so as to cover the drain hole. This will protect the membrane's granules when this section is heat welded. Roll the membrane back on itself. Heat weld the cap sheet onto the base sheet while letting bitumen bleed out approximately 3 to 6 millimeters or 1 eighth to 1 quarter of an inch. Pay a special attention to the movement of the torch when welding the membrane. The weld is more efficient if the torch is moved continuously in regular motions in a rectangular pattern so as to heat the underside of the roll and the field surface. When you have passed the drain, remove the temporary membrane that was placed to protect the granules and press the membrane around the drain with a membrane roller. When the heat welding is resumed, press on the roller lightly with your foot until bitumen filaments appear. Using a chalk line, draw across the granulated side lap of the membrane to create a salvage 75 mm or 3 inches wide. To embed the granules, you can either use a granule embedder or simply heat the granulated side lap with a torch and embed the granules onto the bitumen with a trowel. Ensure that a minimum distance of 915 mm or 36 inches is left between the first end lap and the drain and that the safety end lap must be installed with a minimum distance of 300 mm or 12 inches between them. In addition, each end lap must have a minimum width of 150 mm or 6 inches. At the end lap overlap, cut at an angle the corner of the membrane that is in the middle of the T-joint. Heat weld the second row of membrane, making sure once again to let the bitumen slightly bleed out. Heat the granules on the end lap with the torch and embed them with a trowel. Heat well the membrane, which will be on the upper part of the end lap. Make sure there is a bleed out of bitumen at the end of the roll. If there is no bitumen bleed out, inspect the weld for leaks. If the trowel can poke through the joint, lift that section and heat the bitumen with the torch. Put the membrane back in place using the back of the trowel to create the required bleed out. This installation is now complete.